Hello, everybody. The Ethereum protocol creates data for the AI era. We are witnessing the exponential growth of the AI industry. AI needs all our data to fuel its growth. Ethereum's role is to connect the demand and supply of data for AI. Current AI data sourcing is broken. There is no transparency, and AI is unable to get bulk amounts of data sourced with consent. And we don't own any of our data which excludes us from being able to monetize our data by trading it with AI. Ethereum aims to fix this by tokenizing your data for AI. We bring the transparency of blockchain to AI data use. We create an engaged workforce of humans who can supply bulk data with consent to AI. And we convert data into a tokenized new asset class, enabling everyday humans to earn from their valuable data. So what does Ethereum do? Well, we are an infrastructure protocol that tokenizes data using the NFT standard. We call them data NFTs. We have been around since 2021 and were pioneers of the data NFT standard. We work with compressed NFTs and the token 2022 standard since launching on Solana. Some of our key achievements include being accepted into the Cointelegraph and Sony Accelerator. And most recently, we joined C2PA as a technical member. Our focus go to market is in the AI plus gaming industry. Why? Because we see huge untapped opportunity in this vertical with billions of gamers producing petabytes worth of valuable data every second. Ethereum operates as a protocol infrastructure layer and have products for anyone to use. Of these, data NFTs are very core to us. These are the smallest units of data. Each time a data NFT is traded, we collect a protocol fee, and this is how we generate revenue. And we also have the Passport Framework. This is a data generating app development framework that runs on Ethereum. And the Gamer Passport is the next product that we are launching. Phase one works something like this. It is a data NFT collection distributed by Driphouse. If you hold it, you can co connect your PlayStation account to it. You can then come back each day and check in your PlayStation gaming data, like game time per each game played, achievements, trophies, etc. An AI aggregator will bulk all the Gamer Passport data shared with consent and tokenize the bulk data set using hybrid uh, fractionalized NFTs, which can then be traded on DEXs and NFT marketplaces. The trade of these data NFTs will collect a protocol fee, which is then shared between the protocol and the users. Items on our roadmap, we have launched data NFTs using compressed NFT standards. Our BITS data NFT collection was dropped on Driphouse just last week. Next, we move on to the alpha version of the Gamer Passport and all, its, all of its components.